Good morning everyone and welcome back to Mr. Bravo's workshop. In our last episode we joined this together and glued it all up and as we left uh, we were going to sand it and and do everything else. I mean I've sanded mine, I dry sanded it first. It looks really good uh, and then I wet sanded it just a little bit with a bit of leftover paper like what is it 400 and it did it come up really nice. That looks really good. Not worry about that line underneath. This is not a. This is not one of those builds where I'm too worried about that. So, um, so there's our hull all finished. And in the book, that is section one and two done. The third section down here says we're going to put the props and that on. I don't do the props until last, so we're going to skip that completely. I've had to just come back and re-clarify this. So section one and two is all about putting the bottom half together and section five is about putting the the other half on which is above the waterline on. So now it says let's get up to section number six which is talking about the floor. Now I did say I was going to paint this one a little differently so let's get some floor out first. There's all our floor sections, and I was quite surprised to find these four sections in this ship. I'll get them quickly cleaned up. So there's all our floor pieces, floor pieces all cleaned up. And I guess what it's kind of indicating here at this stage is to paint all the floor sections. Anywhere that has flooring on it, and to paint the grey areas as well. So here I commonly have two colours that I use for flooring, if I'm going to paint flooring. I don't paint flooring all that often, but I have done it. Um, this one here is a Revel 88, uh, and, I, and that's the colour there on the side. And I generally water it down quite a lot, and this makes a very nice colour flooring. Here is the Tamiya, it's Tamiya. Um, 88 and I have done it with this as well. It's just a little lighter. So just depending just depending on what you want, whether you want slightly darker, more muddier color, or a slightly lighter color. Um, and I'm a little undecided which one to do on this one. Um I, I'm gonna go with this one here because I have used quite a lot of this. I'm not sure how much more is left. I did look, I thought I had ordered an extra one of these and I haven't or if I have I can't find it um, so for today I'm going to use this one so I guess right about now you have to work out what colors you want to use for your flooring and and the and the still part of the deck as well so what I'm going to use is a bit of XF82 on the steel part and the rest of the ship because I have plenty of it a bit of XF83. So there's the three colours that I've chosen to use on this ship, and I probably won't use any more. So uh, now, what we're going to do is prepare to paint the floor. What I mean by floor is anything that's got that deck look in it, that's got that grainy look in it inside there, that's what we're going to do. I don't know if you need to see up close, but yeah. That's a bit better. Now you can see the deck. So all that grainy stuff, that is timber look floor, and we're going to paint that. So here's my little mixing tray, and I've used it quite a fair bit recently, and it does need another wash soon. So I've got an empty one here. So what we're going to do, we're going to, number one, get our, our pipette with a little bit of water in it. Here it is. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Got a fair bit of floor to do, so yeah, about that much. And if you don't have one of those, you can use your little margarine container. Just tip it up a little bit on one side and just do it down the bottom here. You'll be right. I just hand shook this, so pretty much that's way too much. We're going to go one. Two, oh, a bit more. Just a few drops. I'm going to empty most of that out again and just give that a bit of a mix. And I really want this watered down. See, 
it's it's quite watered so it's probably a little bit too much to be honest I need a little more water than that let's take some of that out but now I'll have a look and just let's water down just a little more You really want a sort of wishy-washy look that's still too much. I'll take a little bit more out again. That's it. How's that going? Now, give that a mix. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's much more watery. That's what I'm looking for. It's When you spread it up, it's kind of a little bit see-through. That's exactly what we're after. Because we don't want a heavy colour on the floor. We just want to sort of tone it up. So now that that is done, and we didn't use much paint and we're not using much water. So that's it. That's done. Put the lid on the paint. Always stress this. Put your lids back on. Okay, we've got our brush. We're going to get our first piece and we're just going to dip our brush in. This brush came out of water so it's a little waterlogged. I dried it off. We'll just muck around with it a bit. And then basically it's a fairly small brush. Let me see if I can do this here. So, and then basically you just want to spread that on and just liquefy it around all the bits and pieces. Doesn't matter if it separates a little bit. That's quite all right. And you don't have to be too particular. We just want it to run around. And this is only our first coat, which is why we want it watered. Now I, I missed there, so you can just wipe that off. And again, we're just going to run around the whole lot, just on the floor here. It's quite water-based. Around all the chains there, all the way to the end. And what this is doing, this is going to lay down the foundations for the next colour, or the next time we go over this just very quickly. As you can see, it doesn't take much. So just quickly go around those chains. Because it's water-based, it's just going to really run down off those bits and pieces. Not too worried about any of that. We just want to sort of splash it on. And the bits where it's sort of separating, don't worry about that either. That actually helps us. Because uh, when we put our next coat on, it'll be slightly darker there. And where it's missed, it'll be slightly lighter. So we're just running it back around, all those. Now, what I'm going to tell you is I'm hanging on to this on one side. So very shortly I'm going to put this down. Run this back around that way. All the way into the corner there. That's it. Now, that piece is technically all done all the way to the end. That's it. Now we're going to put that down and let it dry. We're going to grab our next piece and because you've already seen the first one, I'm going to make a start on this and then I'm going to come back when it's done. And again, I'm going to hold one section. There's a steel section on this so I can do all the timber on this. Thought maybe I'll just bring in just a little bit just to show you. So as you can see, I'm not being too careful. I'm just running around, just dipping this very watered stuff down. And this is why we keep it watered. We're just after a tone, a hint of, yep, that's got colour in it. Not worried about it separating too much. Around all the little bollards and, you know, mushroom vents and other bits and pieces here. We'll just run around all those. That's it. You can see I'm not being all that careful either. So you don't you don't have to worry about it. You don't want flooding. If you've got flooding, just 
dab your brush off on your rag. Where is my rag? So there's a rag to the side. I'll just wipe a bit of excess off and just take some of that off and just get rid of it. I've, I've gone a little bit crazy here. Again, we'll just spread that around. It's still a bit more floor to do, so you can take some from there, put it back on there. There, back on there. So what you kind of have here is a bit of a stained look. Might just take a little more from there, just in here. That's it. But again, I'm not being too careful. So there's our next piece done. We'll let that dry off, and we want it to dry off just like that, slightly stained all over the place. I have two more pieces, so I'll continue with those. So there's our next piece done. We'll put that to dry off. We'll work on our last piece. So there we have our last piece painted. We just got to bring back that first piece on that corner that we didn't do where I was hanging on to it. So we'll let that one sit there and go off. And it's still, that one's all over the place as well, which is just what we want. Let's bring the first one back, have a look. Yes, it started to already go off. Uh, so, what you can see is you end up with this wishy-washy sort of deck. So what we'll do is we'll finish this other bit off. Because you see me do the first bit, we'll do the second bit. And then we'll go kind of back around it. So... Again, I'm not being too particular. Hiding it back around. I probably should have hung onto it here and just done it as one piece. I'll do that again next time. So we'll just do this piece to catch it up. And that's how I'll do the next one. That's it. So we'll let that dry off. So now quite a lot of time has passed. We'll get our original pieces back. Even this one here is dried off a little bit, so we'll just mix him up a bit more again. Which is fine because I just pulled this brush out of the water anyway, so I dried it off. Kind of want to flood the brush again. Yeah, that's good. And I don't want the brush too flooded to be too watery. So now we're just going to start off and we're going to pretty much just repeat what we did earlier with just flooding the deck with a bit more paint. Go all the way around. It just goes on just a little bit better the second time around. A few little tight spots just here. And I'm just leaving it on just a slightly little bit heavier than the first time. And because we're not being too particularly careful, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is only taking a few minutes. Work our way around all this stuff again. Hit the chain. Not too worried about the chain. I'm going to paint that black anyway. So I'll just do, finish this one piece off. That's it. All the way to the tip. Now we'll put it under there. So continue back this way. That's it. In all the way in there, I'll spin this back around just a little bit. So there we have our second coat on this piece. And what I'll do, I'll continue on with the rest of them just the same. So we'll do that. Thought I'd bring you in on this piece because it's quite flat and my brush is actually working a whole lot more better now. So now we're just sort of flooding the whole thing with just a little more and just 
kind of really, really just, you know, just going crazy putting it on. Uh, and again, just wrapping it around. Spin this around a little bit. Kind of using more of the flat surface of the brush. That's it. Didn't take long to do this piece. And there we have it, just about all done. Put a little more on there. Again, we'll let that dry. So there's our four pieces with our second coat. We'll let that dry and I'll come back and give it one more. So I'm just going to make a start now on the third one. Um, and I'll, I'll quickly show you this, just on the one piece that I've been showing you on. So I'm just mixing the paint up as we go, putting it on fairly heavy now. And again, just all the way to the corner. Trying more and more to miss some of those bits and pieces. But because it's watered down, it doesn't overly matter. The point of all this is, it's so watered that it's only becoming on there just through different layers of paint. So that's nice and wet through there. Add this one. Not too particularly worried about just through here. As a matter of fact, I might do the whole lot. I'm going to come back through with the accent blank on those chains anyway. So I'll turn it around. Mixing that back up again. And yeah, just through here. As you can see, I'm getting fast and fast and kind of adding a little more each time. And then just this last little piece. And there we have it, we're done. That's our third coat. I'll continue with the rest. So there's our four pieces done. And if you're not happy with that coat, you can just go ahead and do one more. But I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so I think I'm probably going to leave that just there and let that dry. And yeah. So I've just come back in. I'm going to try something. Uh, and if it works, I'll add it to the video. And if it doesn't, I'll um, delete it. So we got our first colour down, and I did just mix up a small batch of the other one. Very, very diluted as well. This slightly, dark, slightly darker one. And I'm just going to try this. Put this on top as a secondary colour. And it shouldn't take much, because we've already got it on there. Now, yeah, do I like this or do I not like this? I don't really know. It is slightly darker. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I do like it. Um... All the way to the end. And it kind of wicks on its own paint, so it, it goes on much easier the next time around. It's got more depth to it, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. I've never actually done this before. So we'll just do that one there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I'll just finish off this one here. And again, we've been using the same piece the whole time I've been showing you. So if it works well on this one, I'll do the same on the rest of them. 
um, and you can decide what you think. I actually think that looks a little better than that. Uh, I do like it, so I'm going to stick with that and do the rest of them. So there's our four pieces all done with the secondary colour, just a bit of a splash on top. Nothing too, uh, too particular, so if I miss a spot and then one came through, not worried about it. Pretty happy with the overall look, and as you can see, I really did just splash it on, um, and, it, and it looks quite alright. So I think we'll add this to the video as well, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully you are too. So that's how I did it. How I actually mixed that was I mixed the 88, Revel 88, and just what came off of the toothpick, I brushed it off into this, a couple of drops of water, and that's how I got it. Okay, um, the rest of the video will continue on from here with the other bit, and yeah, so yeah. This floor also needed the grey, so I'll just mix up a quick little bit with the grey, and splash that on as well. So for that grey section, I'm just splashing on a bit of the original colour, waiting for that to go off, only because it seemed to grab to the plastic really well, and then I'll just throw the darker colour slightly on top of it. Well, not after, you know, fully covered out, but just after a, a different colour, that's all. So, again, not too fast about how I put it on, just sort of splashing it around. Yeah, anyway... Anyway, we, I think I'll call this the end of this episode, how we did the floors. Um, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching and bye for now.